So as of five minutes ago, the SOK battery is now in stock. A lot of my viewers wanted to buy it, and for good reason. Everything else that I've been testing lately has been failing miserably. And I challenge anybody to find a better battery at this price point. You can make your own battery for much cheaper, but that requires some work. And I understand how easy it is just to hook this up to a system. And it's nice, it actually works well. And it's pretty crazy how bad some of the products have been lately. It just, it drives me nuts when an established company puts something forth that's just pretty junky in my opinion. Anyways, so let's talk about their inventory. They have been held at customs and they haven't been able to ship out many batteries lately. But by mid-May and mid-June, they will double their inventory and by July, they should have an unlimited supply. They should be having 1,690 every single month. But that's assuming we don't find another battery that's better at this price point. I'm hoping that a manufacturer can present a battery that's better. I really need some more options here. And after about July, you'll also have three new distributors supplying this battery, mainly because it's a good battery. I've been trying to find things to hate about it. I've been checking the forum and the comments of my videos, and no one has been able to kill one of these. They work really well. I challenge every manufacturer to beat this battery. It's very simple. We have a case, we have some cells, a couple terminals, and a good BMS. I'm sure somebody can come up with something better. Also, SOK published their own cycle life test data if you wanna see it below. They quickly cycled an SOK 100 amp hour battery 3,500 times, and it retained 83% of its rated capacity, which is pretty standard for this chemistry. If you cycle lithium iron phosphate slowly at anything below a 0.2 C charge and discharge rate, these things can last a very long time. That's why Simplify has a 10,000 life cycle guarantee. So I don't think the issue is the cells anymore. Usually what kills a lithium iron phosphate battery is not the cells. It's usually a BMS failure or simple things like the balance cable getting yanked out like on the old Ruxu batteries or a BMS connection to the terminal being loosened up. That was a common problem on early lithium iron phosphate packs. It's very simple stuff. It's usually not the cells. But yeah, they made a good design here. You can service it. You can swap out the cells or the BMS or the terminals. And yeah, very simple battery. I hope someone creates something that's similar to this at a similar price point because this thing's good. Anyways, we'll have more videos to come. Just a quick update, these are now in stock. And please let me know if you have any problems with this battery or any other product below. I love telling my viewers about any issue that anybody has with any solar product, as you guys know. But yeah, please let me know. I will talk to you soon, bye.